Shalom, my friends. I'm here in the former Soviet Union, and I was called here this year because the winter is worse than many years in the past. This is record-breaking snow, record-breaking cold. I can't feel my fingers, and I can't even begin to describe to you the cold that's in the air. And I'm going around visiting these elderly Holocaust survivors that don't have gloves, that don't have a coat, and oftentimes they don't even have heating. Katrina has no family and lives here alone. Outside, it's snowing. The reason why I'm here in the former Soviet Union right now is because I was called from our partners, from fellowship partners, that said it's one of the worst winters in years. You have to come and help with food, help with blankets, see the need. We are overwhelmed with urgent requests, and you have to see it on your own. So I came here to see it, and I'm meeting more and more people like Katrina. I'm wearing a coat. I can't take it off because it's so cold. It's snowing outside and there's snow toppled on the roof. I can't take off my hat. Katrina doesn't have a coat. She has a little scarf on her head. She doesn't have a hat. Katrina doesn't even have wood for a fire. Katrina is alone and she needs our help now. I can't turn my back on her. She has so many needs just to survive this winter for food, for heating, and for a blanket. I can't turn my back on her, and I need your help. The Jewish people in the former Soviet Union, Holocaust survivors, single mothers, orphans, little children, the weakest, weakest of the population, are turning to you as their only hope of getting life-saving help this winter. I hear God saying to me, Nachamu, nachamu ami, comfort ye, comfort ye, my people. And I think, God, where's the comfort? Where's the comfort that you're giving to these people? And then I hear him calling me, calling me, you are the comfort for them. Join with me, join with me this winter, right now. This is urgent. We need to get them help now, on the ground. And that's why I'm here, but I can't do it without your help. So please pray about it if you are supposed to be the guardian for one of these Jewish people in need here in the former Soviet Union. God bless you.